Were you happy with the way that he was getting home last time out at Happy Valley? Yeah, I thought he was a bit unlucky there, Ed. Um, I've been a bit stiff with his uh, photo finishes. Um, it was a good run. He's, he's not a very big horse, and I thought the uh, putting the kid on would make a big difference, especially when I saw the weights come out, because they, they're not as um, compressed as I thought they would be. There's quite a difference between the top weight and the next one. So I think it's, uh, it's a wise choice having him on. He's not a very big horse either. His one and only win was over 1,650 metres, but the way that he finished off getting to the line over 1,800 metres last time out, he sees out this trip strongly, do you feel? Uh, absolutely. No problem with the distance at all. He just needs to be given a chance, and he hasn't got the best gait, so he'd have to be, you know, just ridden a little bit patiently. Yeah. How's he come out of that last run? He's good. He's going really good. We're just stable. We just need a winner. We haven't had a winner for a while, and things haven't been going that well, so let's hope he can change the luck of it. Good thing about racing, that wheel always seems to turn in another direction. Uh, he's one of five runners that you've got, David. Would he be one of your better chances for the night? Uh, he definitely would be. Um, I would think that Super Commander would have a good chance as well. Um, yeah, ambitious heart. They should all go pretty close. They've got decent barriers. Yeah. And just a final question for you. Uh, congratulations to you and the family on Luke winning the South African Triple Crown over the weekend. Not long after he won the Met, you must be so proud of what he's achieving. Oh, he's done an incredible job and uh, he's made his mum and I very proud um, and he's uh, continuing to do very well. He's a very talented little rider. Zach, grateful heart. He's at a super season. He's at a freshen up since that last run. Has he got more to offer? I think so. He's, he's nearing his ceiling. Danny's done a great job with him to get him uh, to this point so far. He's, but I think there's probably just a little bit more there and he gets his chance again. I think coming back to the thousand is a good thing. What about his recent trial that he had with you on board? Yeah, his trial was good. He, uh, he's a little bit more relaxed in, in the mornings in his trials these days. He doesn't rip and tear like he used to. Uh, he went through the, the motions nicely. So his last run was over 1,200 metres, but he's beaten freshened up 1,200. Oh, there's no problem for him? No, I don't think so. I, I actually quite like him coming back to the 1,000. I thought his, his win over the 1,000 uh, a couple of starts ago was, was really impressive. Um, he's got such good gate speed. He just puts himself in the right spot. and He was very strong to the line. And just a word on Danny. It's been... A terrific couple of months for you and him together, hasn't it? It has, yeah. And uh, he did things a little bit differently this season. He normally starts off really, really well and, and then um, works his way into the season a little bit and finishes strong. But this season he, he approached it differently because of the shorter off-season um, and the fact you're able to work the horses all the way through. And he, and he said to me, he said, I'm going to start quiet this year, but he said, I expect to be strong through the middle stages. And... Hopefully it works out that way, and it certainly has. Um, he's had a really good season, and hopefully he can keep going. Could he be a title challenger, do you think? I keep trying to push him, but uh, he, uh, he he thinks he, he's had a good season, and he, he might not have much else left. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll get the whip out, and I'll keep cracking it. Ruin, you rode Gratwick last time out. What was your take on that run? Yes, Edward. I rode him last time. He did a good job, finished third and uh, hopefully he can continue to improve. So I think he can run well again. Just talk us through that race. Um, you clicked him up with around 500 metres left to go. At the top of the straight, did you think he was a winning chance that night? Yes, I believe because last time he, he go forward, I controlled the pace very well, and he give, give a good finish. And I think if I did similar, control the pace, not necessarily go forward, but if he sit in good position, he can finish well again. That was his first run last time out for four months. Do you think he'll be fitter this time? Yeah, yes, I think he's much better because sometimes the horse, when he ha had one break, when he back, he run well. Usually the horse, next time he tend to uh, improve a lot, you know. And your own form, Ruin, um, you've been riding here since the end of February. You've had winners at three of the last four meetings. How do you feel you're going here in Hong Kong? I'm feel, feeling very happy now, no? Of course, when you got your first winner, everything changed. Before, a little bit of pressure. I know ride very confident. After a few meetings, I feel much better, feeling confident. I ride very well this moment. Glorious lover, Zach. He's gone close on so many occasions. Can he get the win on Thursday night? He's been a little bit of a frustrating horse. Um, you know, he does a lot wrong in the mornings. When I say a lot wrong, he's, he's actually quite a nice ride, but he's on the wrong legs all the time. Um, and he doesn't help himself. And I think that's part of his problem when he gets in the race. Um, he doesn't train his leg in the straight, so therefore he's on a tired leg and he can't find that extra little bit that's required. 
once we can get him to train his leg, there's no doubt that he should be able to win a couple of races. And, and you know, hopefully we can get him to do that. He, we've been working very hard on that in the mornings, and he, he has done that in a few gallops. So if he can translate that, or take that through to his race, then that, that's obviously going to help him. He's drawn well again. Um, he just had his momentum stopped at a crucial moment last time. And with the big weight and being on a tired leg, it, it was hard for him to pick back up. But, uh, you know, he's a little bit one-paced. But um, I, I certainly think he can win off this rating. He just needs the right tempo, the right run, and, and hopefully to get on the right leg.